Today especially was a very unorthodox day. So, your boy is leaving Houston, Texas, man. I'm vlogging. This is a great day. If you go back and look at my old videos, I started this channel with vlogs. The OGs know what it is. But this is like a breath of fresh air. I feel like a rookie in the NBA, but I'm really not. I'm like a veteran, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a freshman in college, but I'm really a senior about to graduate. And I took a step back from vlogging for a little bit because I wanted to get to providing the most informative, valuable videos. And for a while, I started to feel like vlogging was just like the look at me show, but I never vlogged like that. I always made sure that I provided some type of value or some type of motivation in the vlog. And then of course, the creativity side of the vlog, which is like the most enjoyable to me. So I'm like, I need to get back in my bag. But those of you that enjoy the vlogs, which seems like a majority of you from my Instagram post I made the other day, y'all deserve these vlogs, okay? So I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this. We're gonna have a great day. I'm gonna do some cleaning. I'm gonna exercise. I'm gonna eat some food. We're gonna have some talks. We vlogging. So vlog vibe. So vlog vibe.
Vlogging today has been so classic. In all my old vlogs, I used to pull up to work out and be like, yo, just pulled up in front of the gym. And guess what? I just pulled up in front of the gym. Everything is just so reminiscent. I'm feeling good. I'm happy to be vlogging again. And I really hope you guys are enjoying. So I'm going to be doing a little upper body workout. Um, I was going to go work out outside because the weather is obviously nicer. It's like summertime. So, um, but today it's like 95 degrees in Texas. And no, nah, I just work out inside. I pay for this membership anyways. And um, the quality of this camera, I am actually shooting with a Sony Alpha 6400. The reason I'm bringing this up is because last video, somebody asked me what camera I was shooting with. And I did get this camera in the beginning of the year, like around January. It's a little bit smaller. I shoot a lot of photos with this camera. I love this camera so much. I still have my Canon 770D because that's my baby as well. But this is going to be like my typical go-to vlogging camera. It's just a lot easier just to carry around. Um, it's been a real unorthodox day though. It's been an unorthodox week. Um, I got some Houston, Texas updates for you guys. You, a lot of you already know I live in Houston, Texas. And I'll explain that further, you know, after this workout. But it's been a very unorthodox day, an un unorthodox week. But I love just, I love when things are different, right? Because when things are the same, it just is boring. You know, I just feel like I'm going insane when things are the same. So I'm glad things have been very different this week. Very unorthodox. But uh, let's go inside for this upper body workout. Build this muscle. Your boy just touched down at the cribbo. You dig? Good workout. Now it's time for some good eats. Got a little bit of meal prep right here. I've been trying to prep as much food as possible for efficiency, right? Save some money. Let me show you guys what I got. So right here I got some spicy tofu, white rice, a little bit of salt and pepper, got some black beans. And then I have some power slaw, which is like sliced broccoli. You have some cabbage in here. Blase, blah, whoop de whoop. So tasty, though. And I know a lot of people don't like meal prep. Well, I wouldn't say a lot. I would say a decent amount of people don't like meal prep because they don't like reheating the food. Like, it don't taste as good. But the formula is to throw it on the pan, all right? Don't throw it in the microwave because it ain't going to... It ain't gonna hit the same, so you just wanna throw it on the pan. Throw it 
on the pan, add a little bit more seasonings, a little bit of oil. Tastes just the same. That was actually my last meal too for my meal prep. And now I'm kind of getting in the routine of just like having food ready from a long day or when I'm done working out. So I'm gonna have to prep a few meals again for one of the vlogs. Show you guys how I throw down. Show you guys how I make the good eats. Insulate some of the heat so that it cooks a little bit quicker. Be good to go. So the food was sensational. Your boy was still a little bit hungry, so I grabbed myself a quick snack. We got ourselves some uh, some nuts right here. We got some walnuts, some almonds, some maple walnuts, dry cranberries, dry blueberries. Sensational eats, good eats, right? I've been snacking different lately. Like I used to just eat snacks that really didn't serve a purpose, but now I, I crave things like nuts and dried mangoes. You know what I'm saying? I just be snacking different really eating food that just gives you fuel because I love meals and I love snacks. So I gotta make sure that my snacks, you know, serve a purpose as well. But anyways, I wanted to really just kind of fill you guys in real quick on what's been going on in life. You know what I'm saying? Cause I want the vlogs to be like a, a story, right? I'm storytelling. I'm letting you guys know what's gonna be coming soon. You know, um, a lot has been going on. That's why I mentioned that this has been an unorthodox week. And today especially was a very unorthodox day. So. Your boy is leaving Houston, Texas, man. I know. Your boy is leaving Houston, Texas. And it's crazy because that's like, Texas is where I really started creating a lot of content. I used to go all around the city, some of y'all know. I used to go all around the city, film different videos, let people know the pros and cons of Houston. That really helped me get a lot of momentum on this channel, just documenting like my life in Houston, Texas. Now, I'm leaving Houston, Texas, but I'm not leaving Texas, okay? So I'll still, I'll still be on, I'll still be around Houston, Texas. I'll just be on the outskirts. I've been staying at this place for probably about two, no, nah, three years now. I've been staying here for three years now. And this last year, just, I want to, I need change. You know what I'm saying? I want a better quality environment. And I'm just kind of sick and tired of the city. Like the city is just too much. Like when you first get to Houston, the city's cool, right? You, you, you enjoy the city. You check out all these different places. But after a while, it's just like, okay. Like, I'm from the suburbs, you know what I'm saying? I'm from upstate New York, so I'm used to like trees and like family environments where it's just like real peaceful and quiet. And it's just been a lot, you know? So I wanna move to the outskirts of Houston, Texas. That's exactly what's happening. Um, I'm looking at a few different areas. I'm just really excited, right? This is different for me. Um, I've been living by myself for so long, but now that I got my girl, Hisela, we're actually gonna be moving in together with each other. So um, I'm gonna be checking out some spots week to week, day to day, and um, take you guys along with me as much as possible, right? Show you guys a little bit of the process. Of course, if you're following the channel, you got notifications on, you're gonna see when I move in, you're gonna see the new spot, blah, 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 whoop de whoop. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm just very excited for it all because I'm just ready to be in a more quality, peaceful, tranquil environment. A place where I can just walk my dog, Leia, and not worry about all these different people, right? I just want peace. I really crave nothing but peace in my life at this point, okay? And this moving process is actually gonna be pretty easy because I already got a head start. I already sold a lot of like the bigger items on offer up just to make the process a lot easier. Also get some money for moving because you guys know how that is. If you've moved before, you know that payments gotta be made. There's fees, all types of different stuff. So uh, I've been moving a lot of the big items. Don't have too many big items to move really, but the whole process is just gonna be fun. And I cannot wait to take you guys along with me. But I hope y'all really enjoyed today's 
vlog pretty chill right pretty chill it just feels good to get back in the momentum of vlogging because vlogs to me is something that i can do twice a week you know three times a week instead of just like a real purposeful one video if that makes any sense so i'll definitely be picking up the camera a lot more and i appreciate you guys if you click that bell next to the subscribe button turn on notifications so you're in the loop for all the vlogs that will be coming it's gonna be a lot of fun continue to build in our community right it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs>